Hi everyone, my name is Frederick Vermling. I have a research group at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm. And in this very short video, I'm going to just show you in one go how you could use uh, Greenlist software to design a custom CRISPR library targeting a set of genes. So this will just be um, basically showing you the web interface, saying that we want to target some mouse genes. We use a reference library that contains suggested gRNA uh, sequences for, for all genes. We input a list of genes here. Let's say we're interested, as I said before, about certain um, uh, interleukins. We're interested in the immune system, so these are some interleukins. Uh, let's say we're interested in some stats. Uh, we're interested in uh, some cholesterol factors like that and we for cloning purposes we want to use some overhangs like that and just put them in randomly and then we press run now the software is then going to design a, um, a, a CRISPR suggests so a CRISPR library targeting these genes uh, and you see information here what's going on download result Get a lot of uh, output files here, um, input parameters showing you what, what was the questions you asked the software. Not found list here, by some reason I12 wasn't found, but then you know that, so you can go back and try to understand why. Uh, you can see um, just a compact list of how the library would look like. So there will be six journeys targeting IL2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, etc. And the important output list is this one, as mentioned, you would select it copy it you go to excel would be my go-to program um, and you just paste it like that and what you find here is a lot of information and the most important one is the one that's called gRNA target sequence with adapter so here you find for uh, all the gRNA targeting IL2 the first six here and then IL3 and the actual spacer sequence is this one here, and the adapter sequences that you used for cloning would be here. So this you would just take, you would copy it, you would send it to the company that would synthesize these, most probably as an oligo pool, and then you would clone them in to your vector of interest. And that's basically uh, how you would use the software. And uh, so thank you for, for watching this very short video.